Hello boys and girls, hosting here today we're going to be unboxing the RGM-79 GM144 scale. I had this kid in it for a little while. I wasn't going to do an unboxing, I, mean, I was just going to put it together, but then I figured, well, you know, it's a small kit, so why not? So why don't we go ahead and get into what's on the box and everything. As you can see the front, you see a nice little picture of the GM, and then you see it officially get killed by Shards Zagak. I like this Zagak, because it's a nice mobile suit too. Uh, this GM is kind of, you know, it's alright, because you know, it's like the first variant. I'm kind of looking forward to the Origin finally doing the GM. That, you know, maybe a little kind of different hopefully or look a little bit better when it's at the bottom of the box you see it holding the gun and then you know front and back just holding the gun then we get on to the right side and you get this nice little warning crap all in the way I understand putting this on the kits you know to keep kids from choking them but why not just put it on the bottom on the back I, I don't get that but whatever there's the bottom, you get some nice little poses, you get the gun, you see the sword. You get, of course, that's a toothpick, so you're going to have to paint that. I was surprised to see that the shield was in two pieces, because this is an old kit. It's number 20th in the HEUC calendar line. This one runner you get in the red, and you get the visor, and then the part for this cross on the shield. And on the second bag, you get two little runners. You get the polycaps, and then you get the mobile suit color. I kind of wish they would stop. Well, that's not a kind of. I wish they would stop making these in these mint colors. I mean, for the GM, in the first version version of the GM, I'm gonna stand it because you know, it's like in space, so kind of like space gives it a little bit of a mint green color, I guess. So I mean, that's fine. But a lot of the ground ones are also in this kind of color. All right, now we're gonna start looking at the manual here. Get a nice little picture of the GM on the front. On the back, you get it holding the sword, you get it holding the gun with the shield on the back, and then you're holding the gun with the shield and the arm, and then the back uh, picture of it. And when you open it up, you see some more poses, all in Japanese. You see the backpack, you see the gun, you see him holding it up, you see his head. And you're basically with the spray gun, the shield, and the sword. And then you get a nice little black and white picture of the GM. The same thing that's on the front, there's a guy, except it looks like it's yeah uh, same picture just this time without the GM in front of it and you get a nice little thing about the GM first page you basically get to is showing you all the runners then the second one is basically you start with the legs then you start with the body then you get the arms and then you pretty much put the body on the head onto the body then you start putting the shield together, putting the gun together, and then you basically put everything on the kit. That's about it for the manual. Now we're going to go ahead and start getting into the runners. So the first runner we're looking at is runner A. And I kind of ran into the colors, but we'll run through it again. You get yellow for the vents and the, uh, I guess I'm going to call it the star, or cross, whatever you want to call it. Then you get the red, kind of a, okay, so my camera it's like a real, shiny but when I look over to my Elgato it's not I'm not shiny but you know it's like a little you know, bright bright red but it's like a regular red anyway uh, this is the front of the shoe you get the bottom of the feet when we get the feet then you get the bottom of the feet you got this nice little thing right here protecting the um, camera lens so I don't get all the kind of scratched up or torn up hands part of the shield part of the waist your gun, your trigger hand. Now it looks like this is before they started doing pegs on their kits, so you're not going to. It's going to be kind of whimsy, whimsical on there. And now we're at runner B. There's a nice mint green. Uh, like I said in the beginning, I wish they would stop doing these in green. Do white. I mean, I understand. You know, some of the white ones that old white kits look like crap. Be doing like a dull light white, white and it won't look that bad. But anyway, go ahead and look at all this. You get the top portion of the feet, your backpack, uh, the part of the shield, and the legs, you got your head, top of the body, your nice little toothpick sword, which you get, uh, where is it? Inactive and active, so what you could do is just 
bore a hole, hole, what you could do is bore a hole out of the inactive one, and you have it for an active and the active. In in inactive. Sorry, I'm trying to say that fast. The um, thighs, the ankle guards, the small part of the body, parts of the arms. And the last little runner we got here is the polycap runner. As usual, I really don't ever go through the polycaps because I mean the polycaps are never really anything different about them. Um, other than this, looks like it's back to the point where these connect to the arm, so the arm, the forearm can kind of fall off if you pull it. And our only little sticker for this kit right here, which is for the chest piece, where the cockpit is, put this nice little sticker on it. I wish they, well, to me, depending on how this sticker is, kind of makes me wish they would have kept stickers like this instead of making them clear, almost clear, because when you put them on the parts that are supposed to have black, you can still see the red showing through it, so they should always keep these stickers. But they might not stick that well, so I don't know. My first time using a sticker like this in a while. Well, no, no kids nowadays have these kind of stickers, but I don't know why they don't use these stickers anymore for the kids of the day. Maybe they use those because they got to fit them around your neck, and that may be why. So they don't come up so easily. But alright, that's it for this unboxing of the GM first type. I'm going to just call it short. Um, hopefully get this kit uh, put together and show you what it's all like in the review. So, anyway, Dustin here. I'll talk to y'all guys later. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Should be a link in the description if it's doing better now. If I can get it, the link. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that nice stuff. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>